Well, hey everybody, and thanks for watching another Road to South by Southwest. And I am Steve Garfield from stevegarfield.com. And we've been doing one of these a day leading up to South by Southwest. And today, our show is going to be about Tuesday, March 13th. And so the way it works is I've invited my friends, and we're going to go down the list and see what everybody's got planned for sessions and events for next Tuesday. And so I'm going to start with CC Chapman. Hey, CC. Hey, Steve. Hey, everybody. It's CC from uh, cc-chapman.com. So Tuesday, I'm going home, but I'm not going home until like 5 o'clock. So I'm hoping to squeeze in a couple of things. Um, unfortunately, the one thing I wanted to see at South by above everything else, I am going to miss, but it is happening on Tuesday. And if you are there, you should go to this. Digital Debauchery with Anthony Bourdain from 3.30 to 4.30 at the Austin Convention Center. It's him and his team, his production team, talking how they produce No Reservations and The Layover. And if anybody knows me, they know I am a huge Anthony Bourdain fan. He has my job. So that's something that I wish I could go to, but I can't. So somebody please go to it and tell me what's going on. Um, the other thing I'm definitely going to try to slip into, and it's happening every day. I kept forgetting to say this. Um, every day at South By is this Canon Lounge, which is at the Canon Imagination Screening Room, where I don't know if you know about this campaign uh, that Canon did, where they, um, they worked with Ron Howard to take imagination with your Canon cameras and make movies out of them. I remember. So that is going on. And I didn't know where this long center was. So because yesterday the maps were so popular with everybody. Um, this is where, so you can see over on the right-hand side where the convention center is, and the long, the long center for the performing arts is across the river. But that's where the Canon thing is set up, and it is going on every day uh, during South by, but, but I'm hoping to sneak over there on Tuesday before I head out so that uh, I can check it out. But definitely, that's what's on uh, my short list for Tuesday before I sneak out of town. Wow. Okay, thanks for sharing that thing about Canon. I didn't uh, know know about that at all. So good, good one. Cool. All right, Clarence. Hey, what's happening? Um, I'm glad there's no token black jokes or nothing like that. Um, so I'm I'm supposed to be talking about what I got going on on Tuesday. Yeah. Most of my stuff. I mean, you enter. interactive cats. You you come, you go, you leave on Tuesday. I'm there to like Thursday. You know what I mean? I'm. Tuesday's a film day for me primarily. Um, in the evening, I'll go backwards. In the evening at 1 a.m., there's a screening for a film called Monolithium that I'll be hitting. Um, there's the iPad Theater Convergence of Film and Interactive Media. It's the first film made for the iPad, so I'm going to be going to check that out. Um, there's a Mentors Filmmaker, which focuses on narrative, so if you're a film director... Um, or screenwriter, you get to get with some professionals to talk shop, which is going to be pretty cool. It's a little more birds of a feather, I think, which, you know, South by used to have some time ago before there were 15 campuses and things like that. Um, <laughs> and in the morning, there's the second screen dashboard, which has to do with focusing on um, when you're viewing stuff on television, people usually also go to their tablets to interact with shows in a certain way, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on Facebook or something like that. So it's talking about leveraging that technology um, in terms of television viewing. I think it'll be kind of interesting, um, and we'll see how people talk about extending the tech. Um, in between that, um, I don't know about the rest of you, but I actually blocked out a lot of free time for South By, so I have at least four to six hours a day of free time. Wow. Um, and I kind of limited a lot of my sessions to the convention center um, so that my free time makes more sense so I can stick and move um, as necessary. And as CC keeps putting up my card, I'm also going down there as Bold Edition, so I'll be trying to pursue some stories as well. Um, but I think that if you have a gold badge, for those of you watching, I would encourage you to spend a lot of time to invest and take time to go see the films. I mean, you may not be hanging with your friends, um, and, but it, it's different. It's something you can find interesting, and I think you should go do that. And a lot of times you get to talk to the directors. Um, a couple of years ago, I went and saw a film called The Way We Get By, um, 
and I'm almost best friends with that director now. Like we've done a lot of collaborative stuff together. Um, they're going to be a featured story in one of my publications, and it's it's a great way to meet people to go and see their film and actually talk to them about it, and they're usually very excited about it. Um, Gary Huss with CC and I went to go see Objectified, and it was the same kind of way there. So, um, yeah, film for me. And if you if you see me, be sure to say hi. I mean, there's like, what, 30,000 people that come to Texas now. Um, but there's very few black people, so you can find us. <laughs> <where we are. laughs> Actually, one of my roommates, um, Super Dave, might be watching. He always says that. He's like, whenever I go to the tech conferences or whatever, I'm just like, you could always find me. <laughs> I mean, it's so much of a thing that they actually have panels called Where Are All the Black Tech X or Y or Z, <laughs> right? Um, I think there's something like that again this year. So South by does not escape the sort of at least calling the black people out and be like, come to this one room at this time so we can have you all together at once. <laughs> They must have the Where Are the Women in Tech conference right next door to that. <laughs> it usually happens in the same forum. <laughs> All right, Clarence, I that's awesome. Sulu today. What the hell is he? <laughs> Ewan, what's up? Hello. I'm just glad there's no talking green evil monsters from H.P. Lovecraft novel jokes going around. See, I, it did look like a Cthulhu. <laughs> it means everything. Look, wings, tentacles... You got props now? Is that what's up? Props? <laughs> yeah, you thought you were a minority. You've got trouble now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one older god at Steve Southwest Southwest. I don't even get a token session. I don't even get a token. <laughs> it's disgraceful. I'm telling you, I'm going back to Relay and going to sleep for a thousand years. Yes, bye bye. That's it. Sound of Cthulhu. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you what my nickname for you one is, so I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> oh, all right then. Here we go. Hello, everybody. I keep missing you. This 2 o'clock in the afternoon lark might be lovely for you guys, but I'm meant to be normally putting kids to bed. Um, hello, everybody. I'm Ewan. You might recognize me from such websites as www.iscobleinthisroom.com. Still running after 12 months. Still vitally useful at South by Southwest. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I love that site. Try it now. It's HTML5 compliant. It, you, you, your mobile phone browser will ask for your location, and it will tell you how far away Robert Scoble is from you. <laughs> That's great. So, right, uh, things that were happening on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Clarence, what's this Thursday, Lark? I'm there till Sunday. The hard Sunday, the 18th. If you're going to stay, stay for the whole smash. Uh, right, let's start off. 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, come and spend the British taxpayers' money. Uh, UK Trade and Investment uh, are having the Great British Breakfast. Where breakfast yeah. They promise you uh, traditional British food. Basically, um, if you'd like to have a coronary, come along and we'll serve it up to you with a pie <laughs> and some bacon as well. Um, that's uh, between uh, 10 and 12 o'clock at uh, Cedar Street Courtyard just along to the co conference center somebody call up the map and show where 208 West 4th is um, it's also the day you know music has started to encroach in here as well I need to put my glasses on now because it's very dark because if I put this light on behind me you can see my halo um, BMI has their Howdy Texas party at Stubbs it's an RSVP but come on half the fun of South by South West is trying to find an RSVP it's dead easy that starts at 5 o'clock Closing parties abound, opening parties abound as well. But there's a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, first of all, um, for those of you who have either a gold or a film badge, um, there's, there's a lovely film, that start, I, I say lovely, um, that, that's kind of advisedly, uh, but half past 11 uh, at night um, at the Alamo Lamar, it's a little bit of the way out, but the, the interactive parties will probably be dying now. It's the screening of VHS, the film. Now, this... To Sundance by Storm, and this is a film which is essentially lots of criminal thieves go into a house and they have to find a videotape. The problem is the house has millions of videotapes, and each one of those videotapes is really nasty. Um, so it's, uh, it's a sort of horror mix of trash TV, and there were people throwing up in the cinema um, at Sundance on this one. So <laughs> there, there may well be some headlines and story around that one. Um, I've no idea what's going to be on at the Alamo Ritz at, as the midnight movie. Go there anyway because um, you can get ice cream and candy and mozzarella and beer served to you at your seat. Cece, you know what I'm talking about. It's a you? great time. Uh, we've got music kicking off as well just after midnight. There's, there's 
if you can either get a badge or get a one day badge or you have got a platinum there are some really good bands playing uh, let's see, off the top of my head, Midnight, you've got Caveman playing at the Bat Bar, you've got Dale Earhart Jr. Jr. playing at the Hype Hotel, uh, rolling on later on in tonight, uh, Joe King Casaro in the Crowns, if you've not heard them before, oh. fantastic side, yeah. Skinny's Ballroom at 12.40, um, somebody agreed with me, wow, you've recognised the band that I recognise and you're not CC, that's impressive, uh, Matthew Deere's playing at 1 o'clock, MC Frontal Up, um, Nerdcore Rap, um, favourite of the week, actually, um, rap but with tech stuff um, going on as well and um, last thing, half past one I mean, you can take this even if you've done all the parties, House for Lions at Club 606 apart from the fact it's a really great venue, they are brilliant sounds of that as well um, and for those people who are staying over and not flying out on the Wednesday, there's a ton of free parties I, I know, I'm not going to be able to join in tomorrow's on because I'll be in the air flying uh, to get to Austin, it's only 20 hours but um, the IOTA party, which starts on Wednesday at noon um, at Emos, free beer, free music, no badge needed. So even if you just a plant or a gold, you can go along get a little taster south by uh, on the Wednesday and then head off to the airport for the $1 bus outside the convention centre. Wow, you're always very busy. <laughs> I've diary to prove it as well. Like you're crazy, to man. And if, you guys, and, if you guys, and if you guys haven't seen it, go over... Go over to sxswbaby.com, which is something Ewan does, and I know he's got the playlist. He's got a music sampler, all 279 megabytes yeah. of music from South by. You can download yeah, it's, for it's free. It's 80 specially selected tracks. We've been listening to that to the band since November to get a long list. And then we've got a medium list. We've got a short list. We've got a nice sequence of 80 tracks. It'll take you about five hours. So door to door, um, if you're on an internal flight in America, and you'll have a wonderful sampler of all the mix. There's, there's rap in there, there's real music as well, there's rock and roll, there's country, dance, rock, <coughs> soulful, gospel, Americana, um, uh, and there's a lovely Australian two-piece band called Bugger. Bug Girl, sorry. Um, I keep getting that wrong with their Australian accent. Um, and it's a free download. Yeah, I'm actually downloading it now. I paused it to do this, but I'm picking that up today, so I'll have a playlist for the trip. Nice. Excellent, you and great. Look forward to uh, seeing you, and maybe if there's an Apple pop-up store, we can meet out in front of that. Uh, no, um, Austin 360 confirmed last night. Uh, I said there won't be. There is no, there is no pop-up store this year. Oh, uh, okay. Ah. Uh, that's that's confirmed. They won't actually confirm what they're announcing, uh, but can you, I'm sure, conjecture would think it's an iPad 3. But no I don't buy it. I don't I know buy. you don't buy it. We're bloggers. We get it given to no, us. No, no, no. I, mean, I, don't buy, I, don't buy the, I don't buy the news one bit. I don't buy well, that one bit. There's only going to be one iPad 3 in Austin, and it's going to be Scobles. No. So if you want to find it, if you go to isscobleinthisroom.com. Right, I just retweeted that. That's outstanding. That's my homepage now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff Cutler, what's up for you for next Tuesday? It's a, it's a shift in gears day, as everyone else has talked about, uh, interactives winding down, music is starting to gear up, and film is right in the center of some of the highlights. So what I wanted to do was a screen share and show you my Tuesday. You might think that Tuesday is a real mess for me, just with everything that's over here, but this really is organized. Um, I have picked the events I want to go to, although I have to switch out my afternoon stuff just because I now want to go to Anthony Bourdain based on what Cece said. Right. Are you going to do a screen share? Did you click it? I clicked it. It should be sharing. I don't know. You got to yeah. click on the window that pops up and pick which window to share. Oh, well, that's just stupid. No, it uh, saves you from exactly. sharing everything you don't want to show. <laughs> yeah. uh, how's that? Oh, I got to click share. There you go. There okay. you go. Okay. Yep. So, yep. over here you can see everything that's going on. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, um, that is unbelievable. I'm gonna have to whittle down some of it probably. <laughs> no. Um the other issue is that while I'm down there, I got word yesterday that I have to be doing some work for a client here at home, so I have to run a uh, Twitter chat from I guess it's eleven to noon because they're an hour off. So from eleven to noon, wherever I am, hopefully it's in a room with Scoble. I'll have to do my IT chat and run it that way. But the big thing, because um, Ewan was talking about music, I am excited for the evening with Jesse Dayton, 
who is uh, country, but the Little Hurricane at the Hype Hotel and Whiskey Daredevils at Soho Lounge, those are my highlights only because those are bluegrass bands, the Hurricane and Whiskey Daredevils. And I think it's the only bluegrass that's mentioned during the time that I'm there. So I can go see some banjo and do it after the closing party. I do not have a, uh, a big badge, so I'm going to have to find someone to get me into one of those. But uh, other than that, that's my plan. And I'm excited for the Wednesday party, but that, that doesn't count. How do I get back and unshare everything? Just click, click the screen, screen share, share button. Again. How's no, that? Man, you got too much stuff going on, bro. You think? Yeah, there's oh, no... Man. Well, you should have seen it yesterday, Clarence, because Jeffrey is a, is a newbie, and he, he had a list that big, too, and we were just all sitting here is laughing this is, at This him. is Jeff's first year? Not oh, me? Guy. No, my third year. No, no, year. he should know better. Yeah, yeah right? I do know better, but... Another job. I mean, are you packing like more than one piece of underwear too? I mean, what's going on, bro? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that was oh, you know, I'm wearing. Have you? He needs lots of underwear. Who has yeah, underwear? Right. Watch this. I, mean, I don't do what Eva does, man. No Just draws, no underwear. So, am I done sharing that? No. That... No. Darn it. Click, click screen share again. I did. And share share Google Hangouts. Oh. No, just un uncheck the screen share thing. It'll go away. I did. It wouldn't go away. Oh, well, well then don't flip. Be careful what you flip around for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's it's all right. okay, Jeff. It'll run out of battery power in five hours. I'll still have my file of facts and everything written down. Yeah. And uh, um, you won't know where you're going. The one thing I wanted to show, can you see me or are you looking at my screen? screen. We're looking at your screen. Ah, your calendar. Darn it. Oh, look, your mom's birthday's next weekend. Oh, shut up. And what's the dumpster depot? <laughs> that's, uh, that's trash day. <laughs> Although I put the trash out today. Um, Can you click where it says screen shared? You next to that the... might be having problems because he said some of the videos weren't coming through, so it's yeah. oh. wonky. I keep clicking it. It won't go away. All, All right. right. I'm, I'm going to leave and come back. <laughs> All work. right. Today is supposed to be trash day, though, I think. I don't think it's next week. All right, Lynette. Um, I'm actually going home on Tuesday. Um, my flight's at like 2 o'clock or something, but I'm coming in and out of San Antonio because the flights were drastically cheaper. So I rented a car for the week, and that was still less than the addition on the airfare. And then I couldn't get an airfare. And it, just for some reason where I live, I usually fly to Philadelphia or Newark, and... I couldn't get a direct flight, and it was killing me um, into into Austin. So I just decided to do a direct flight into San Antonio, and then I drive. I did that last year. We drove, I think we drove in and out of there, and I rented a car, and it was a nice drive. So that's just what I'm going to do again today, as exciting as that is. Um, I'm sure I'll be very tired. I am, I have a deadline for a book that I'm writing that's a day and a half after I get back so I'll be working a lot during this trip and probably typing as much as I can so um, I'm sure by Tuesday I'll be ready to come home but yeah I didn't plan for anything I just have to make sure that Monday night isn't too crazy I don't want to get on a plane hungover right again. <laughs> so that's it Okay, so um, my actually, so now after hearing what you guys said, my my uh, Tuesday is getting pretty busy. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit that the British breakfast and the um, Anthony Bourdain for you, CC. So let me share my desktop here. Uh, hello. Is it me? Or <laughs> it's not me. You win. Turn off the music. You win. Oh, you're is, no, uh, no, you're gonna get us. You and you will get us kicked off this hangout. Oh, okay. Oh. So here we go for uh, what I'm gonna share. First of all, I just wanted to take a look at the weather over in Austin, and there was a big chance of rain, so people should prepare for that. That's why I'll get underwear, right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, not, no answer <laughs> to that one. Um, I just saw this today, um, this site, getwillcall.com slash South by Southwest. We're eliminating the two things we hate about South by, RSVPing and the lines. And they say if you click this button to connect, it's going to RSVP to everything. <laughs> so I didn't click that button because you know, I'm not sure what is going on here. But I did go visit the actual site. 
of Get Will Call, and it's this new iPhone app that lets you, um, it gives you deals for concerts and events that are happening that night, and you get special pricing. So actually that application by those guys sounds pretty cool, and this is just one of their programmers threw this together. So I thought I just wanted to share that. So here's my schedule for Tuesday the 13th. And again, I'm using the South by Southwest schedule program, which I now like very much because it's, it's very clear and it's going to keep all my times straight. So I opened up each one on a separate page to go through them. I think, Clarence, this is the one that you were talking about, second screen dashboard. Um, yeah. It looks pretty interesting about the, using tablet devices, and there's some good people on here from New York Times, ESPN. Um, so that's right up my alley. So I'm going to be going to that in the morning, and that's at 9.30. And the next thing is at 11 to noon. Um, you know, it's online, being an online video producer, um, tips for journalists. So we have some good people here on, on this panel to uh, Chris Albrecht from GigaOM, and there's a guy from The Onion and Slate. So that looks like another thing that I'm going to be really interested in. This next thing is a new HBO series, Girls Revealed, and they've got a lot of the people from here, um, writers, uh, the cast, and Judd Apatow is in here, so um, he's someone I would want to go see. So I'm basing that on learning about how they produce a TV show and also just to kind of go see him. And then at 2 o'clock, um, the shoot, share, repeat, um, I think, did CC, you, you going to go to this one? No, I hadn't seen this one. Oh, I'm just this one's from Getty this guy, Images. Again. Yeah, a guy from Getty Images talking about um, sharing uh, photos in real time and things. So whatever that's about, it's it seems like that is going to be uh, interesting. And then I threw this one on here because I really want to try and get to the com some of the comedy stuff because comedy is, is getting bigger each year. Um, so there's some comedy happening happening uh, late night there at South by. So there. Can I pitch in on the comedy thing just for a second? Yeah, I'd like to hear it. Go uh, ahead. Give, given the the um, the background I have at the Edinburgh Fringe and the big comedy festivals, I still think South by Southwest is completely missing the boat on comedy, uh, and I think they're missing it for three primary reasons. The first one is. There's a lot of really funny female comics out there, and um, a lot of them aren't in Austin. Um, I think I saw two female um, comedians who are going to be doing stuff, and they're doing podcast recordings. Um, the, the, the second one is, you know, this, if they're trying to build up comedy, they need to be part of the comedy circuit. And they're not part of the comedy circuit at the moment. They're, you know, the only occasional big names are those that make their living online as podcasters, but the thing is, they don't have the infrastructure behind it. The, the bands come to South by because the rest of the industry is here. The people who can sign them up for labels, you can sign them up for concerts, you can get them more work, they are here. So the bands will pay the money to be here. There isn't that for the comedy. And they've, they've, it's been four or five years now, and I don't see an infrastructure behind, oh, we're going to do some stand-up to get an actual decent South by Southwest comedy here. They're, they're not, the, the comedians are pay, getting paid the same as the bands, which is basically, we'll give you a badge and we'll give you some communal shared bed space in, in a loft in an apartment five miles out of town. And it, it just feels to me that if they're going to do comedy, do it 100%. At the moment, it feels like they're only doing it 40%. And almost as if to make sure they get the sponsorship from the, the HBOs and the Comedy Centrals of this world and nothing else. I don't see any talent or, or ability for anything to grow at South by Southwest Comedy that I do in film um, or in music or in interactive. And I'd, I'd love to hear people's opinions. Well, I mean, we'll have to experience it and see what the shows are like. I know, um, you know, I have planned to go to see Eugene Merman's doing something from my favorite show, Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a you know big name in comedy. I'm going to see. So um, I'll check out some shows and I'll get back to you and let you know what I think of them. And let's go to Zane, who's here at the the end. Hey Zane. Uh, one two one two. Keep it on. We can wrap. Okay. Um, I looked at my calendar and I'm not quite sure why, but there's nothing on my Tuesday, which means I probably put everything on the wrong day. Oh. And. And one thing I have actually done is I have registered for that Samsung tech 
BlockFit's lounge about 4,000 times. I keep tricking myself and thinking I haven't done that yet. Oh, the te- Blogger Lounge? Yeah, but TechSet and Samsung, I'm not quite sure. I don't see TechSet. I'm like, ooh, Samsung's got a lounge. And I do it, and then it says TechSet. And I must, I swear to God, I've done it five times already, like, in two days. So, you know, Stephanie Gretz is probably over there going, oh, Zane really wants to come to the lounge, <laughs> you know? But anyway, I thought that was funny. I don't know why Samsung, as a brand, doesn't register to me as Blogger's Lounge like TechSet does. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But... Um, there's also the IBM Lounge on Tuesday where the Social Media Club is going to be. And, you know, I'm staying at the Social Media Club House 9 this year. Um, and they're going to be up at the IBM Lounge. Do you guys know where that is? It's uh, the first floor, um, room one. Do you no. know about that? Okay. Where is that? It's the IBM Social Lounge in the ACC on the first floor in room one. So IBM has a nice lounge, and the Social Media Club... You know, like Christy and Chris, you know, the founders and um, Jessica, and I'm going to hang out there, um, are going to be pretty much set up there. IBM has um, graciously offered them space to be able to do their reporting from there, and so that's where you can find them, too. And I guess there's not as much official programming at the house this year, correct? That's too bad. Yes. I haven't heard a thing about the house this year except for us here, which I I didn't even know if it was really happening or not, because I know they've always had good stuff in the past. Yeah, well, they're going to be doing it all at the IBM Lounge, and the house is more like an actual house, and then we'll, you know, more low-key and not really the programming event because of -hmm. of the fact that they've got the IBM Lounge on site, which is very cool. Oh, that's better. So, but there's, I think that, you know, you'll hear from Chris and Christy um, if they're going to be doing anything like a dinner. It's going to be pretty, you know, if you're looking for a more intimate type hangout, that's probably what we're going to be doing. Oh, and, um, ladies, only one, (laughs) or or actually, I, I take that back. Sandra's going to laugh at me because um, Actifirm is my roommate, and that's my one of my BFFs, Sandra, who I've known since the 90s. When we both used to be uh, working at home and we would just go and hang out every day at the restaurant and work, you know? <laughs> In the 90s when people didn't do that. Do you get that? That's a joke. Okay. So, anyway. <laughs> I don't think we got it. <laughs> well, in the 90s, we didn't work at home like that <laughs> on the Internet. We were drinking champagne. Okay, so, anyway, um, I'm wearing my Actifirmers pen, you see? Actifirm is what has been making me better looking lately because... Um, you know, Here we go. You know, <laughs> I was like, where is this all going? <laughs> no, because we're going to do facials. I'm getting... I know I'm something shiny. I forget what I'm okay, talking Okay, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> but no, the, the, I'm not even doing a commercial. What I'm telling you is you guys know that I'm 46 and a half, right? I don't know if you know, but Sandra's been putting these 40 wing things on me and I, I swear to God I'm getting better looking, so... She's going to bring a bunch of stuff, and we're going to do facials and have, like, treatments and about why it's important to take care of yourself while you're on these trips because we're all drinking and not sleeping. And they've got this thing, which I love. It's called a Z-peel. And um, It's called a Z-peel, and uh, it's not Is made that on the, the back I page of like, the menu of uh, <laughs> items you no. can order? No. Go away. Stop it. <laughs> But, um, so, we're going to be I- inviting some people over to, you know, come have some facials and sit on the porch and drink wine and put green masks on. And it might be kind of fun to have some of the guys do that with us, I kind of think. But, Lynette, you have to come for sure. Am I still muted? No. <laughs> Am no, I you're still muted? We can hear you. <laughs> Nobody's applauding. Come on now. I'm not used to this. Oh, yeah, thank you. There's, there's just so many ways we could go with that conversation. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Let me see. Wait, i got to pull my notes out. And then you guys know that I also work with Erica Badu, and she is doing a free concert with the Cannabinoids, which is her second band. Do you know about them? No. All digital. So, um, oh, it's, they're amazing. But they're doing a free show with the Red Bull Live, and that's on Saturday night. And it's totally free. You don't even have to RSVP. And it's Which not Saturday. Just, the Saturday first? the 17th. Oh, uh, okay. Too late. And I, and I put the, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But if you have, I might even come home to return my camera and then go back because it's totally on the streets. It's, um, if you go to Erica Badu's Facebook page, there's an event. But you guys, the new timeline, it's like almost impossible to find the event pages. But uh, it's the 17th. It's totally free. But this is all you need to know because it's Red Bull. So it's totally a street party. And it's um, 8th and Trinity. And, again, it's like no RSVP, no 
cost, no ticket. And um, ooh, let me tell you who else is there. Is anybody going to be there? But people listening, right, would be there? Yeah, it might be. Okay. Um, oh, hey, the, the 17th is St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Yeah. And I have socks for that. <laughs> <Wait a minute. laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, an entire day where everybody goes, you're from Ireland. No, I'm from <laughs> Scotland. Are you giving me free beer? Yes, I'm from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> See, for us, that's like the same thing. It's just not Texas. <laughs> But anyway, Lucky hey you guys. Know English, you would have got a slap for that. I know. I'm um, I'm from Zaneland. Hey, do you know, have you heard of the Crystal Method? Yes. Jackie Jack. No, which is yes. the thing that the Mammoths and the Papas used to write the third album. Okay, so here's the other artist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's yes. Crystal Meth. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you heard of Crystal Meth? It really oh, keeps yeah. you up. It gives you wings. <laughs> but um, Jackie <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Didn't you just say Red Bull's a sponsor and then you use yeah. their tagline for meth? Nice. I know. They're not going to like that, are they? Hmm. No. Because my friend is the guy from that. He's not going to like that. But so you know, I'm the Crystal Method. What, what's, I love the Crystal Method. Okay, they're going to be at the same concert. Wait, Eric, wow. Eric With, Badu and okay. the Crystal Method? Z Trip, the Crystal Method, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Dat Thick, Dan Ooh. the Automator, DJ Headsbig, Big Once, and a These special guest. These are all guest. DJs. Yeah. yeah. Animator. Yeah, it's going to be very electronic, you know, good. But the cannabinoids, you need to look at, okay, the cannabinoids is spelled C-A-N-N-A-B-I-N-O-I-D-S. The cannabinoids are Erica's new band, and they're amazing. They're all, it's all digital. So it's eight MacBooks and a drummer, and then they play some instruments as well, but they're all independently um, artists in their own right and Grammy Award winners and stuff like that, but they're all from Dallas. So I also work with them because they're part of the Badu World umbrella, and um, they're going to be there. So you get to kind of see it's what she does is she they kind of rehash and remix and mash up the stuff that she's already done, and then they have original stuff coming out. And on the 17th, there's an exclusive free download um, for them on Red Bull's page or whatever because they have an album coming out. Oh my God, the first one. Very cool. Mm-hmm. So. That's all I know for something that's cool and free, and maybe possibly when we're not there, but I bet they even live stream it anyway, don't you think? Yeah, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cece, mm -hmm. who's there? Yeah, so I, got, I, I multiplied. School just got out, so we've got Dylan and Emily from uh, EmilyExplainsIt.com and EmilyCreatesIt.com. Wow. But yeah, they, they just got home from school, so I thought I'd have them come say hi. Hi. Hi, kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that's Clarence, that's Steve. Dylan, you got yeah. some braces. Let me yeah. see your braces, Dylan. Dylan, Zane, are they see clear? Your braces. Are they clear and stuck on? That's the kind I had. No, they're, yeah. me they're metal. They change the colors and all that crap. It's crazy. Uh, well, of course, I had my braces in like the 60s. <laughs> the 60s? <laughs> that stuff is working for you. Oh, okay. And uh, by the way, anybody else who's listening, remember, I've got that Chevy, that convertible Camaro, which I guess I have to ride with the top up on the rainy days. But I'm giving oh. out free rides. If you see me, wave me down. I'll drive you to your meetings. And what color is the car? It's Inferno Orange. And we um, we had a contest to name it, and it got named Zaneferno. So if you hashtag nice. Zaneferno, Zaneferno. <laughs> Uh, like Zane Ferno, where are you? I might, I need to go to the Hyatt or you know whatever. And if we're gonna just kind of cruise around, it's so bright you'll you'll be able to see us anyway. And um, Darth Vader's probably gonna be driving around with me for a while here and there. <laughs> Chad Vader, you need to find Chad Vader and put him in your. Oh, car. Yeah, where? You know what? Where is Chad Vader? That's exactly who I He's want. He's gonna be there. You need to. Put is him he? In okay. Oh, yeah. He just needs to join with me because you know it's, then we'll be filming for Prop Free. <laughs> I got I got my sticker. <laughs> Yeah, but I know there's a, a, a not a keynote, but like a big session, and he's in it like Friday or Saturday. So you have to hunt him down, see if you can throw him in your car. Yeah, well, I'm just I'm going to make him hang out with me. <laughs> you think he'll accept that? Because <laughs> I just want him in my car. <laughs> What's he okay, doing? Zane. Oh, you know, Zane. I want to say something. I want to say something to Lynette. I know. Yeah, go right ahead. I want to tell Lynette that thanks to you her. Post on because I went to the. Uh, this will be my, easy to edit. It's my show now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, I went to the Google page yeah. with all their stuff, and it's really awesome. Um, so I wanted to thank Lynette for mentioning that last week and then putting it on her page. Did you guys go to it? I, oh, yeah, you? it's the best. All that stuff. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I missed it. So. Cool, thanks. Sure, thank you. <laughs> all right, Lynette. Once again, thank you for hosting. <laughs> 
is on air Google Plus let me hang out let me my thing. <laughs> and um, we'll be back tomorrow at two to talk about Wednesday March 14th we'll see you then bye bye <laughs> wait are we really supposed to end it on time <laughs> that was way out we <laughs> oh look at Clarence nice so hey Sandra if you're there bring some more of these so we're still streaming right now, guys, just so you yeah. know that. It's still live as Clarence is busting move over there. Um, He's getting his DJ Jazzy Jeff on. <laughs> 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 but when Steve gets this, I'm sure he'll cut all of this out. I don't know. Oh, my oh, God, look the Jeff's doing part. magic. A uh, bag here. No, this bag has a charger in it. <gasps> Whoops. What? So, does my, so does my purse. <laughs> <laughs> no, see the little orange thing? There's a there's a battery built into the backpack. So it's super cool. I just wrote a review on it uh, yesterday on one of the sites, but I'm giving it away to whoever finds me first on Monday at South by. Okay. Is it solar, or do you have to plug the bag into the wall? No, the bag has a port right on the front of it, right here. That's what she said. That you can just plug it into anything, <laughs> and it has a built-in. This pocket on the side has. USB for the iPhone, oh, micro USB, and mini USB as let well. Me know how that, let me know how that works after you walk around in the rain for a couple, a little bit. That's <laughs> that's why I'm giving it away. Jeff will be in the gutter like no, it's uh, be like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty uh, water resistant. So uh, I figure it uh, it'll be my gear bag at least for a little bit. But I don't want to carry that much stuff. So that was the other reason I'm giving it away. Hey, Lynette, can we share videos on here or not? No, videos, unless you were to do it through your screen share, but that, it hasn't happened in this Hangout, but every once in a while when I have Hangouts, I see a bot come in, like, you know, like a service oh. bot, and I think that they scan for um, the video. The video and the music are the two things that it's very easy for the, compu for the algorithms to pick up. Oh, and they don't want it in here. Well, it, see, Skynet. here's the thing I don't know. Why? About. Like, say if you played your own piece of music, would the system flag you, or does it know that you? Does it know that it's not a copyrighted like Warner Brothers or whatever doesn't own it or Universal? Like it'll, that, I it'll be using a check some fingerprint. It'll be using a fingerprint, um, like uh, name escapes me with a Shazam. You yeah, can do it from about I 10 mean, it's the exact seconds. same YouTube <laughs> technology. <laughs> So however that goes, um, but I mean, I know musicians that do live on-air hangouts and they play their own music and they don't get flagged, but I, if you were to like play, say, a piece from like, you know, I don't know, Batman Lord of the Rings or something, it would probably pick it up. And I don't know what would happen, honestly, but I'd probably get a big smack in the head for it. <laughs> I'll be giving away badges. Really? What? Badges? You're giving away badges or buttons? Be very specific. <laughs> I'm British. We still have all the vowels in our words. I'm giving away badges. <laughs> for? For? For what? For, for people to pin on so they look prettier. He means oh. He calls them buttons. Um, they call I'm, them badges I'm, buttons. I hope to buy... I hope to catch a lanyard sale. Get it? Lanyard sale? And buy a badge, uh, so interactive badge from somebody right before I get there. <laughs> So I don't have to pay nine fifty. So yeah. if you know somebody who's trying to dump a badge for less than nine hundred and fifty dollars, I want to do that. Probably. Wow. Killer expensive. All right, yeah. everyone. I have to go. When I go, everybody goes. All right. So, um, no. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be really tough for me. I may actually have to work with Steve and and figure out something because I had a, I have to go to a client at one o'clock. And well, you I could, could just easily give Steve your login. Oh yeah. That'll work. I you, trust yeah, me. Can. you can trust me. Yeah, you can trust me. What's the worst you can do with a global um, Google account? I just I'm found out, good, actually, yeah. John Herman has on air, too, so I'll ask him if he can do it. Okay? All right. Yeah, if I can't pop over, um, then, yeah, if you want to bounce. Oh, yeah, I know, John. Um, yeah, see if another one. But I should be able to do it because I usually just grab a conference room. I'm there all the time anyway, so we'll see. Okay. I'll be I'll be in the air. The last time you left, we were still here. Yeah, it stayed. Oh, really? Open. Yeah, yeah, every time. Yeah, because you left. always leave and we wait for us, ourselves to like. Implode. And we're just here. Yeah. Oh, sure. And we just <laughs> then we leave when there's no interest left yeah. anymore. <laughs> I didn't know that actually. Well, I know the broadcast probably stops. Uh no, I don't. Cece, was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 
I All right, never, why don't we why don't we test it. that? If All right, I'll leave. drop out and I'll see if it still works or not. Okay. All, All right, right. We'll catch you guys Thanks, later. Lynette. Thanks. Bye. Bye. This was great. Bye.